Good morning and welcome to the daily news trends on SSI TV Africa. South Africa moves to adjusted alert level 3. President Soro Ramaphosa announced that Africa will move from level 4 COVID-19 restrictions to adjusted level 3 on Sunday. The president said new COVID-19 infections are being driven by the Delta variant, which is more transmissible than previous variants, and raised concerns about new daily infections in provinces like the Western Cape, KwaZulu-Natal and the Northern Cape. President Soro Ramaphosa emphasized the importance of wearing masks at all times when in public, keeping distance from others and ensuring a flow of fresh air with others. The president announced that based on the recommendations of the Ministerial Advisory Committee on COVID-19 and inputs from the president's coordinating council cabinet, the country be moved from adjusted alert level 4 and be placed on alert level 3. Professor Karim cautions against complacency. Professor Salim Abdul Karim says the President Cyril Ramaphosa's address was a good balancing act, but he cautions against complacency. He says while it may seem as if we are over the worst of the third wave, there are still areas where the virus is causing havoc. We can ease restrictions, but we have to be careful not to ease them too much because then we run the risk of getting a second peak. Ramaphosa announced South Africa will be moved from level 4 COVID-19 restrictions to adjusted level 3 on Sunday. Church leaders call for relaxed COVID-19 lockdown regulations. Church leaders are calling for religious gatherings with a limited number of people up to 50% venue capacity to be permitted. Currently under level 4 of the national lockdown, religious gatherings were prohibited in an effort to curb the spread of COVID-19. Church leaders in Gauteng says looting and violence that were experienced in KwaZulu-Natal and Gauteng recently were a result of lack of guidance from the religious leaders. Pastor at Boshoff of the Christian Revival Church says the country desperately needs the guidance of religious leaders. University of Cape Town to launch online high school. The University of Cape Town will be launching an online high school. This will make it the first university on the continent to extend its expertise to secondary schooling online. University of Cape Town has partnered with a Cape Town-based edutech company to deliver these virtual features. Admission opens on Thursday and the first class will start in January next year. Kanye West hypes new album but no official release. The miraculously Kanye West has previewed his 10th studio album, Donna, at an arena listening event, but characteristically blew past Friday's expected release without official dropping the record. The artist 44 arrived nearly two hours late to the sold out listening session at the Atlanta Stadium, which was announced just days prior performing without a mic as his children and ex-wife Kim Kardashian looked on. The album is named for the rapper's producer's mother who died in 2017 and it appeared the content continued to explore religious themes along with references to his high-profile split from Kardashian. Thank you for tuning in on the Daily News Trends.